Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and I'm so excited to be sharing with you this month's paper pumpkin kit. This is an amazing kit that is created with or was developed with Sarah and she is amazing. She is the CEO of Stampin' Up! And she wanted bright and happy and lots of sunshine. And she certainly got it. So I just love this kit. And if you are not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, I highly recommend it. Every kit gets better and better. And that I've been saying that for years. Our next kit that you can subscribe for is called Summer Nights. It is going to be available um, until July 10th. So make sure you subscribe by July 10th. And what's kind of cool is this kit is really neat. It has um, little bags that are part of the kit as well as cards. And then um, many people really enjoy the cards. So they have an add-on that you can purchase. For $10, you can add on 24 traditional card bases and envelopes that will coordinate with this month, the July kit. So that's a really kind of a great way to stretch out your kit and get lots and lots of use out of it. Now, speaking of lots and lots of use, let me show you what I got out of my kit. So um, first of all, I promised that I would put together a kit for um, a, a drawing for my current subscribers, and I'm going to do that. Let me show you what I put. Actually... I'm not sure what I did with my kit, but let me show you what comes in this kit because it's pretty awesome. So you get a black spot. You get uh, a really, really cute stamp set. Oh my gosh, I love the sunshine and I love the words. Um, and then you've got some yellow paper that your kit is wrapped up in. And then your kit is going to contain all of items that you need to create eight cards plus there's uh, envelopes and then there's a little sticker sheet that you can use to decorate your box so you can repurpose your box to send it to somebody so as I promised I'm sending a box of sunshine to um, a lucky winner from the people who subscribe for me I'll draw a name and I have it filled with all kinds of fun yellow stuff Okay, so let me show you what I put in my kit. So it's pretty awesome. This is what I'm sending. I've got some Burt's Bees Moisturizing Lip Mask, some Minions Cookies, and I will be honest with you, they are more cute as a package than they are to eat. Just saying. Um, a cute little reusable shopping bag that I got at the Target Dollar Spot. A yellow highlighter, some Batiste dry uh, shampoo, some juicy fruit, a little rubber ducky, um, a Luna bar, which is actually pretty good. I tried it. I, I enjoyed it. Um, a yellow balloon. I have not blown on that. <laughs> Full disclosure, right? A cute little candy. Some lemon and ginger herbal tea. Some lemon heads. Because, hello. Um, a little minion eraser. Because everybody needs that in their life. And some yummy Starburst candies. So, I'll be sending out this box to one of my subscribers. I'm very excited about it. I can't even believe all the fun things that I found. It was really fun to shop for this, by the way. And I also am pretty sure I'll never get this all back in here. So I might have to do that off camera. Okay, so let's get back to our project. So what we're going to do is we're going to take... Um, and let me show you the cards and then I'm going to give you some alternative ideas. So these are the cards that the kit makes. They are just super fun and happy. I love those lemons. And then the pineapple. Oh, so cute. And then a sunshine. So I've created some really cute cards that are alternatives, different ways you can use your kit. And um, I also have a cute little box. So let's get started. My first card is really easy. Um, it features one of my favorite techniques and that is watercoloring. 
just as soon as I can find my, there we go, my paper. All right, so I'm going to start with a piece of uh, watercolor paper, and this really is necessary for this technique. I'm going to take my little water painter and I'm just squeezing out water to go across here. This is the large wash brush uh, one. There's This comes in a new three pack, which is really nice. There's three different brushes in there. Okay, and then I'm really getting this juicy because I want the water to work, move around. Okay, I've got my Coastal Cabana, you know, the color that lets us know God loves us. And I put just a little bit of reinker in the lid here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just spread this around and you can see it just kind of is mixing and flowing with the uh, water that's already on here. Okay, so that looks good. Now I'm going to show you a couple little secrets. So I'm going to start drying this. Now when it starts to dry, so you can see it's not super wet everywhere, you know, like it's shiny, it's a little wetter over here, but not quite as wet. Then what I want to do is squeeze this to get the water flowing. And I'm going to kind of just add some water in a couple spots. I'm just moving things around. And then I'm going to do one little secret trick. Now I don't, there's no, I didn't squeeze this, but there's just a little bit of reinker on. Uh, I did not squeeze that. That just happened. Anyway, <laughs> what I'm going to do is just touch this to my sheet, okay? So the ink that was just kind of on there came out, and it's just going to be a little, a couple little darker spots, okay? Then I'm going to heat this again, and what that does is it gives me some darker areas and some lighter areas on here. So I added water to get lighter areas, and then I added more ink. To get some darker areas and that's just a nice way to so that your background isn't completely um, uniform and that's the beauty of water coloring is to get that watery look okay now you can always come back and add some more so if you want more of that look I'm just kind of trying to get rid of some of that I'm squeezing this to get some of the ink out there we go um, if you want more of that just Go over this a little bit more. Kind of work some water around. And then um, when you do that, and again, I'm just getting some water moving. When you do that and then dry, you get lighter and darker areas, which again, I just love the look of that. There we go. You can see some of those lines on there. So, okay, now let's finish this card up. All right, I'm going to take and adhere this to a piece of uh, daffodil. All right, I'm going to take and adhere my uh, panel. Oh no, <laughs> I think I might have done a boo-boo. I had a little adhesive on the back of this and it stuck. Whoops, I forgot. Oh boy, that's funny. Okay, so I put a little bit of my seal plus on here and I use that because I've got watercolor paper and I wanna make sure it, it adheres really nicely and seal plus is nice strong adhesive and that looks fantastic. So I love this little pop of Daffodil Delight. That's super cute. I'm gonna fold my card base in half, which is Coastal Cabana. So this is eight and a half by five and a half, and I folded it in half. And then I'm going to um, eh, I'm gonna adhere this to my card. Yep, I had some adhesive on here. I totally forgot about this piece. This is actually a leftover from another project. Okay, that was funny when it kind of stuck to my <laughs> work surface. Have you ever done that? All right, so I've got this on here. Now I'm going to take one of the die cut pieces from my kit and I'm going to pop this up with some dimensionals. Our kit comes with dimensionals, which is wonderful. I have used all mine, so I am on to um, my spares. <laughs> and... I put a bunch on here just so that I get a really nice um, 
even pop up on this larger image, so that looks great. I also am taking one of the die cut pieces that comes in this kit uh, that's got a little gold foil around the edge, and I'm gonna stamp one of my favorite sentiments from this kit, and that is um, a little something to brighten your day, and that is exactly what this kit is for. Okay, so I stamped that in some Coastal Cabana ink, and I'm just gonna pop it up onto my card. You could stamp it in any color of ink that you want. Um, it would be adorable. So I'll put a couple of dimensionals on this side, and then it's gonna rest on top of my um, pineapple. So I'm going to just, there we go, set it on top of that like so. Super cute. And then our kit also comes with some super happy sequins. And this is one of the sheets from our new adhesive backed sequins, which I really love. And all that you need to do is take and put some, let's see. Do you ever stress about where to put your sequins? I do too. So I think, actually, actually I like that. So I've just got a couple on there. And there's my first card. So simple and really fun. And I love the addition of Coastal Cabana against these yellows. Okay, now for my next card, I literally almost said for my next trick, um, I'm gonna take and put together a card based on cutting up one of the kits cards. Okay, so um, the card bases in the kit, there's a couple of gold ones, there's some yellow ones. Oh, and you know what? I just realized I used all of mine already because <laughs> I've been having so much fun with this kit. So I'm, I'm breaking into my second kit. So I can show you all the pieces that come in here. So we've got adhesive dots. We've got those sequins I showed you. There's the sheet of dimensionals, and I was using mine on some other stuff. There's all the cute little gold envelopes. Then these are some sticker sheets. Then we have all the die cuts. This is where I got my um, pineapple. So we've got several sheets of those. Look at all that. Then we've got some card bases. So we've got the gold ones. Uh, we've got the red and orange and yellow, and then some more gold. And then there's just yellow, okay? I'm gonna take one of these red ones. We're gonna use that for our card. And then these are the little um, sheets of flags and tags. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. And I'm gonna use one of the flags for this card. And then I also have the sticker sheet, and this we're gonna use on another project here in just a minute, but this sticker sheet was designed to redecorate your box. So you could send your box again to someone who might like a little box of sunshine in their life. That was kind of the purpose behind it, and that is all kind of explained in your kit with the little note from Sarah. Okay, so what I wanna do with this card is, by the way, I need a sunshine uh, die cut piece. So what I wanna do is take this card base and I'm gonna repurpose it. So I wanna take my trimmer out and I'm gonna cut the front of the card base off because really what this is, is it's like printed paper. And I will cut it at three and three quarters. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut that. And then this piece I can um, cut off as well. So there's still like that half of an inch-ish bit left. And I'm gonna cut that off because I could use this on something else too. So I'll just set that aside. All right, now I've got this piece and I wanna cut this at every one. Let me measure just to be sure. One and a half inches. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut at one and a half. And one and a half. 
and one and a half. Okay, so again, this piece I can use for something else later. So I've got my three pieces here. Now I'm going to take a crumb cake card base and I'm going to fold my card and then I'm going to arrange these three pieces kind of in order like so on here with a little space in between each like that. All right. And I'll adhere these pieces down. So we'll flip them. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of set them here so that if I need to adjust them a little bit, I can. And then once I have them all with the spacing I want, then I'll press down. This just gives me the chance to kind of reposition as needed before I press everything in. But once you press, then you're kind of committed. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. So cute. Then I'm, of course, going to pop up my sunshine. So we'll put a few dimensionals on here like that. And that looks so cute. Then I'm going to take the little strip, the flag, and I actually, um, this is the other half, so this is the one I, I cut in half to make my sample of this, but I'm just gonna take a half of that little flag, that way I can use the other half on something else later on, and some Poppy Parade ink, which is one of the coordinating colors to this kit, and I'm just gonna stamp hello on there. And I love that hello, isn't that the cutest? Uh, one of my favorite parts about Paper Pumpkin are the stamp sets that are included in the kit each month, so I really like that feature. So then I'll leave just a little bit of space on here and then I'm gonna tuck this in under my sunshine just like that so it's kind of sticking out. And you can even use, these are the little adhesive dots and I've got a little tip for you. Take your, take your pick tool and pull them off and then you can also pick off the little backing. Oops. Seriously, there we go. Um, it's so much easier because my nails won't get that backing off very easy. So I love that my little take your pick tool works for that. It's just a little tip for you. Okay, so there we go. Now, any project is better when it's embellished with a little bling. So I'm going to take my sequins, which of course I don't know what I did. Oh, here they are. Um, I'm going to take my sequins and just put a few on here. So I've got, oops, two right there. And then I'm going to throw one more on here to just kind of balance it out. Um, right there. So there we go. Such a cute, easy card. All right. But wait, there's more. So I also wanted to do a little treat box. So let me show you what I did with this. So we have these new paper pumpkin boxes, mini boxes, and I am going to take mine and I'm just sponging some color on. Now I'm using some Daffodil Delight and I don't need or want it to be even. So I'm going to use my makeup brush. These are found on Amazon. They're just oval makeup brushes. I like the largest, extra large and large size the best, but they come in a whole bunch of sizes. And I'm just going to uh, swirl some color on here and I wanted it to be uneven. I don't need it to be perfect. Okay. Then I'm going to take my sunshine and just making sure it was stamped in yellow and I'm going to just stamp the sunshine all over my box like this. Okay. 
So there we go. All cute as can be. Now to assemble this, it's super easy. You're gonna fold this, um, the two kind of tabs in, and then this piece is going to wrap around. So wrap around and then it locks right into place. So it really is awesome. And then I discovered that this will fit a box of lemon heads perfectly. <laughs> so you can put a little box of lemon heads in there. You could decorate it too if you wanted. But then this closes up so nice. Isn't that awesome? But of course we had to decorate it. So I'm gonna take those stickers. Remember the stickers at the beginning um, that come in your kit? So there's a whole sheet of them and you can decorate them however you want. So I'm gonna pull off this great big sticker right here. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna stamp my great big sticker first because <laughs> it'll be easier than trying to stamp on the box. So I'll just put that back on there. Kidding. Okay, so I'm gonna take my lemon stickers and my leafy stickers because of course we've got lemon heads in there. And then I want to use that sweet sentiment again. And I think I will stamp it in Coastal Cabana ink. <laughs> okay, so let me, let me grab another one of my labels. Okay. So we'll stamp that once again. And I think, ooh, actually, there's this cute little liney image. So I'm just gonna stamp that on here a few times. Oh, this is fun stuff. All right, and then I'm going to, let's see, I want this to go right here. So I'm going to stick one of these here, and then the other one I'm going to pop up. Like so. And then we'll add our stickers. And this one will pop up. And this is a perfect use for those little mini dimensionals. Right here. Okay, and then we'll pop this up and maybe I will stamp that little liney image once more over here so that you can see a little bit more of it. Yeah, because otherwise I was going to cover up a whole bunch. And I'll put some dimensionals on the one side again. And then this will just rest on top of our, I guess I can put one more down here in the corner low. Okay, so a little something to brighten your day. Pull that sticker off and place it right on here. And look at how fun this is. So super easy to decorate this. We've got the sunshines and then inside is our fun box. So I hope you have loved these projects. If you would like to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, I will send you tutorials for 12 to 15 new project ideas just like these each month with photos and directions and dimensions and all of that good stuff in your mailbox. So just subscribe to my Paper Pumpkin. There's links in all the products that I used in the description below as well as a link to my blog post so you can see the photos of everything. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more awesome videos each week delivered to your inbox. Thanks so much for stamping with me today, guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.